The 2013 Claudia Lewis Award goes to National Geographic Book of Poetry, Book of Animal Poetry, 200 poems with photographs that squeak, soar, and roar. Selected by J. Patrick Lewis, edited by Jennifer Emmett, and published by National Geographic. Pat Lewis could not be with us today, but Marilyn Singer is accepting on his behalf. Please come forward. <laughs> it's an honor to be here today to accept the Claudia Lewis Award for Poetry on behalf of J. Patrick Lewis. Pat is the children's poet laureate, and we've long admired him for his own poems, but now we can appreciate him uh, for being the first great anthologist that he is as well. I'm going to read his acceptance speech, and then I'm going to read a brief sampling of poems from the book. <coughs> Pat says, I'm extremely sorry that I couldn't be here with you today as I'm making elementary school visits out here on the Midland Moors of Ohio. <laughs> Alas, the book's 155 poets can't be here either, with the exception of my good friend Marilyn Singer, one of the book's stellar contributors, who has so graciously agreed to stand in for me. When Jenny Brown, called me to say that my National Geographic Anthology, Book of Animal Poetry, had been given the Claudia Lewis Award, I cartwheeled to the end of the street and back twice. <laughs> I'm happy to report that, though they are accustomed to my crackpot ways, none of my neighbors called the squad. I telephoned everyone I knew, including my sister-in-law, whose name just happens to be Claudia Lewis, <laughs> no relation to the real Claudia Lewis. But she telephoned everyone she knew and assured them that she was the real Claudia Lewis. <laughs> I have followed the history of this prestigious award since its inception, always dreaming that one day I might write, or in this case, anthologize, a book of poems worthy of it. So imagine my astonishment at Jenny's call. The butterflies in my stomach fluttered up to do a samba on my heart. The many poems whose words grace these pages, along with the 200 plus photographs selected by the non pareil National Geographic Society, combine to make this beautiful volume the perfect coffee table book. But more than that, I like to think, Book of Animal Poetry will continue to captivate young readers some still in the laps of their parents for years to come. So I speak for everyone who had a hand in putting this collection together. At this very moment, try to picture a children's poet in the far reaches of Snow Ohio, extending to you a swashbuckler of a bow and raising a jerubalum of a toast of thank yous to the Claudia Lewis Award Committee for this supreme honor. And if I may put in a final shameless plug, National Geographic provided me with book plates which I have signed and included in each book for anyone who might be interested in purchasing a copy. Thank you again, J. Patrick Lewis. As I said, I'm gonna read, whoops, a brief uh, sampling from the book starting with the Egg by Jack Prolotsky. If you listen very carefully, you'll hear the chicken hatching. At first, there scarcely was a sound, but now a steady scratching. And now the egg begins to crack. The scratching begins to quicken as anxiously we all await the exit of the chicken. And now a head emerges from the darkness of the egg. And now a bit of fluff appears. And now a tiny leg. And now the chicken's out at last. He's shaking himself loose. But wait a minute. That's no chicken. Goodness, it's a goose. <laughs> Cocoon by David McCord. 
The little caterpillar creeps a while before in silk it sleeps. It sleeps a while before it flies, and flies a while before it dies. And that's the end of three good tries. <laughs> Grandpa Bears Lullaby by Jane Yolen. The night is long, but fur is deep. You will be warm in winter sleep. The food is gone, but dreams are sweet, and they will be your winter meat. The cave is dark, but dreams are bright and they will serve as winter light. Sleep, my little cubs, sleep. I'm looking at everybody's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Anthology by Tracy Vaughn Zimmer. So many stories locked inside the amber eye of one elephant. The Whales <laughs> of Whales by X.J. Kennedy. With walloping tails, the whales off whales whack waves to wicked white caps. And while they snore on their watery floor, they wear wet woolen nightcaps. <laughs> the whales, the whales, the whales off whales, they're always spouting fountains. And as they glide through the tilting tide, they move like melting mountains. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I rude. The next poem is by Christine O'Connell George, who won the Claudia Lewis Award last year for Emma Dilemma. Visitor. A spark, a glint, a glimpse, pixie tidbit. Bright flits, brisk zips, a green-gray blur, wings, zings, and whir. I just heard a humming of bird. <laughs> Beavers in November by me, Marilyn Singer. <laughs> Have to read one. <laughs> this stick here, that stick there. Mud, more mud. Add mud, good mud. That stick here, this stick there. Mud, more mud. Add mud, good mud. You pat, I gnaw. I pile, you store. This stick here, that stick there. Mud, more mud. Add mud, good mud. You guard, I pack. I dig, you stack. That stick here, this stick there. Mud, more mud. Add mud, good mud. I trim, you mold to keep out cold. This stick here, that stick there. Mud, more mud, add mud. Good mud. <laughs> and finally, Make the Earth Your Companion by J. Patrick Lewis. Make the earth your companion. Walk lightly on it as other creatures do. Let the sky paint her beauty. She is always watching over you. Learn from the sea how to face harsh forces. Let the river remind you that everything will pass. Let the lake 
instruct you in stillness. Let the mountain teach you grandeur. Make the woodland your house of peace. Make the rainforest your house of hope. Meet the wetland on twilight ground. Save some small piece of grassland for a red kite on a windy day. Watch the ice caps glisten with crystal majesty. Hear the desert whisper, hush to eternity. Let the town weave a small basket of togetherness. Make the earth your companion. Walk lightly on it as other creatures do. Thank you from Pat Lewis and from all the poets in this book. Mm.